for black girl nerds. Good morning, gentlemen. We have so many elements for a, a classic tale. So many, a non-traditional queen, we, ethnic cleansing. We, I, I scarcely know where to begin. Uh, start, well, let's just start with Nimue. What were your early thoughts that led you to write this from her, from her perspective, starting with you, Tom? Sure, yeah. We... I'm a lifelong Frank Miller fan. So, you know, talking about King Arthur with Frank, you know, this was a mythology that meant so much to us growing up. Um, but we did feel uh, that we needed to bring something new to the table and, and an approach that was, that was new um, for today. I would say there were two, two opportunities here. One, one was that image of a woman's arm coming out of the water and offering mm -hmm. Arthur the sword. And that that asked a lot of interesting questions. You know, who who was she? What is her relationship to Arthur? Why does she have the sword? Mm -hmm. And we began to kind of unspool that backward to the, the story of this young woman who's kind of thrust into this world. Um, I, my daughter was 10 years old at the time that we started talking about this story, which was probably three or four years ago. And you know, I didn't, I didn't see which characters she would connect with initially. The way that the way I was impacted as a child by you know Merlin or King Arthur or Lancelot, I there weren't as many woman heroes to um, for her. And yet the themes, you know, seizing the sword, you know, taking control of your destiny, uh, all of these themes are you know relevant to men and women. And and I was really drawn to the idea of kind of creating a, a real badass hero inside of this world with Frank that um, that could bring my daughter in. And just interesting, quick story, you know, one of the first days my daughter had the opportunity to visit the set, you know, she saw Catherine holding the sword of power and mm -hmm. her initial, you know, so that was her first connection to this mythology. And I know it was really exciting for me and, and Catherine was thrilled, you know, that, that my daughter was, was um was having that response because she just thought it was the coolest thing she'd ever seen so that 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 felt like a kind of mission accomplished there when you when you pin a story like this frank and you are doing a book and you're doing a series kind of concurrently is that more difficult is it is it easier because you kind of know the path you want to forge with a future series what was what is that like what was that like from your perspective well, it just involves arguing with Tom a lot. <laughs> no, I, I think we're good partners, and 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 he's he's the uh, Tom's the guy who keeps everything in its head. You know, and and, and I, I I think I think that 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 um, I'm a bit more scattershot when we're when we're working on this stuff, and 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 I'm I'm a bit more prone to um, thinking about images we can be drawn to, which is very useful useful part of it too um it, it is it's sort of like between the two of us we we you know we 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 hash this out but this is this is just thoroughly a team effort absolutely and lastly i've seen this question going around on the internet and i thought it was pretty funny since we can't disclose a lot of specifics of the show so i'm going to ask you tom you have to describe the series as boring as possible I have to describe the series as boring as possible. As boring as possible. Like the I like simplest. That. I like that one. Yeah. Like that one. Um, <laughs> young woman um, uh, wanders through the woods, comes upon um, a piece of <laughs> a piece of steel that she doesn't quite know what to do with, stumbles along, uh, maybe meets uh, a few friends along the way. Um, they travel through the woods. I, Frank, help me out here. I'm, this is, you know, yeah. it's, it's very <laughs> early. I haven't had enough coffee, I'm, you know. I'm, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, another damn Arthur show. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, gentlemen. It was <laughs> absolutely not that. I enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Right. Great. Much appreciated. Better shake your boots for black girl nerds. Better 
to shake your booties for black girl nerds.